Universal Remediation Incorporated is very pleased to announce that its PRP product has once again been included in NASA's internationally recognized and distributed spin-off publication. PRP has been nominated for the 2006 Space Technology Hall of Fame. The following program, Modern Marvels, aired on the History Channel in May of 2007. America's space technology has taken us to new worlds. But it's also found a place on Earth. NASA's hand-me-downs save countless lives. Conserve a treasure in energy costs. To the moon, beyond, and back again. It came from outer space. Now on Modern Marvels. These battery-powered roadsters aren't the only technical wonders benefiting from green NASA technologies. We can also keep grime out of Earth's water and soil with tiny spheres from the edge of space. It's made of one surprising ingredient. Calls only on Mother Nature to clean up after it. And although it's made up of spheres less than 100 microns across, it can absorb 20 times its own weight. It can also be packaged to suit your specific need. Its individual particles may be the smallest spin-off from NASA research. But this wonder powder, called PRP, has huge potential. PRP is, stands for Petroleum Remediation Product, and it's used in uh, various applications. Uh, basically to clean up uh, hi petroleum hydrocarbon accidents. They're oleophilic, which means they bind with the hydrocarbon on contact. Once the oil is absorbed by the PRP, it stays there, it won't leach out, and there's no collection necessary. Once you put the PRP down, it'll do its job, it's biodegraded. What may sound like a huckster sales pitch is the real deal. From the bilge system in your boat, to rail yards and parking lots, to that grease spot on your driveway. PRP busts grime using zero elbow grease and an innovative technology discovered in zero gravity. PRP powder is actually made up of tiny hollow beads called microspheres. NASA researchers discovered them in 1992 by accident during an experiment aboard a plunging KC-135. In the weightless environment like that seen here, an effort to grow liquid crystals resulted instead in bubbles of air trapped within tiny crystalline spheres. NASA later developed other methods of producing them, and workers at Universal Remediation have studied these techniques to manufacture PRP. They make their microspheres using a single active ingredient, ordinary beeswax. Beeswax contains nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, ingredients which make it a food source for naturally occurring microorganisms. In the event of an oil spill, PRP can be spread directly onto the slip. The beeswax spheres are 18% hydrocarbon, so they absorb oil and reject water, which allows them to float. Hungry microorganisms already present in the environment dine on the beeswax buffet. The population of microorganisms thrives and multiplies. As they feast, the microbes release waste enzymes, which break down and neutralize the hydrocarbons. But you don't need a microscope to see PRP in action. Its effectiveness is clear in this common usage, cleaning a boat's bilge system. Take that up to show how PRP will bind or encapsulate the oil in the bilge and bring it to the surface of the water where it'll stay absorbed until naturally occurring microbes biodegrade that oil PRP matrix into CO2 and water. In Pittsburgh, Universal Remediation's home base, a variety of bio-themed PRP products are cleaning up oil spills on the three rivers, one vessel at a time. The 
PRP story is just another example of how technologies used to explore space are improving life here at home. I think all of us, uh, looking back at the, at the space program, can identify a number of things that have come out of space technology that benefit our everyday lives, from communication systems to uh, safety-related items. When NASA started back in 1958, uh, we didn't know what those future benefits would be, but we're confident that, just as we've shown in the past, that uh, investments in science and technology and space and aeronautics will continue to provide broad benefits to the public.